What's up, guys? So, me and my team have been talking about programming a lot, just b basic strength programming. And um, I decided I was going to write them a program just to really, just as a blank template, you know, straight out the box. You can adjust it later if you want, kind of thing. And I decided I'm just going to put it up for anybody to use. So, um, I wrote a real basic program that's just um, in Excel format. The exercises are completely up to the individual because everybody's a little different. Um, you can adjust percentages and all that stuff if you want, but I kind of just wanted to go over it a little bit. We're going to put it on the site, and I'll show you where to get to it, but I just wanted to kind of explain, like, once you open it, what you're going to see. So this first page here under percentage is just basically a cheat sheet on how many reps, basic percentage, basic sets. Um, you can adjust it plus or minus depending on how much volume you can uh, handle, how much volume you're used to daily. Or, you know, how many training sessions a week do you have? If you have less training sessions, you can usually go a little harder. Um, and then there's, like, the dynamic and speed sets, which is, you know, a little lower intensity but higher volume. And the body weight section here, which I'll come back to later. So I have mine set up as the four basics, dragging, back work, uh, side pressure, bicep work, and hand and wrist. So you can change that if you want. It's all up to you. Just I kind of went by with what I do. And when we go into this individuals, you'll see that there's exercise one, two, that, all that stuff. You can plug in wherever you want because um, everybody's a little different on the things that they enjoy doing and the things that work for them. Uh, the only thing I kept is the weighted pull-ups, and we'll come back to that later just to kind of explain what, how that uh, works in general. So on the bottom here, you have sixes, fours, two, and if you keep going over here, you'll have new PR. So basically it's just a basic, uh, six rep, four rep, two rep and max, um, block training. So as you progress, you go to your new PR, which is your single. And then once you have a new one rep max, you kind of go back to the beginning. So, um, you can see also the percentages on the side here. They're automatic. So I'll explain what that means. So we'll just start with the first block here. So this is six reps. So usually I do four sets of six reps and we'll just say exercise two for dragging and back is we'll say a single arm pull down. So single arm pull down and we'll just make it really easy. Just for numbers sake, we'll say your best single arm pull down is 80 pounds. As soon as I change it to 80 pounds, your 70%, your 72 and a half, and your 75% all get calculated automatically. So I use this for myself just because I don't want to have to remember, uh, it drew math while I'm at the gym. I want to be able to just pull my phone out and take a look at it. And if my one rep max is this much, it's automatically going to calculate through. And if I copy this over here to the dragging and back work to the fours, if I put 80 here as well, it calculates to 80, 82 and a half and 85%. So as you progress, the one rep max will say the same. You're going to do the, you're just going to do a little bit more intensity as the waves go up. And for me, a one wave is one session. So if I were to do my four sets of six reps with 70% one day, what I do personally is I just mark it green. That way I know the next time I'm in the gym, if I'm come back to my single arm pull downs, I don't need to go back to that. I can go to wave two. Um, that's just up to whoever wants to do it, but that's how I do it. I just wanted to explain how when you change this one rep max section up here on all of these sections, it automatically gives you your working weight. Uh, makes it a lot easier for myself anyway. And it also changes the dynamic, the, the your speed day. It changes that automatically too. So you don't have to think about it. Just does it all by itself. Um, and with that being said, it's the same thing with the weighted pull-ups except for what makes it difficult with weighted pull-ups is that you have to calculate the weight that you add and the weight that you are. So what I did for myself is under body weight on the very first page here, we'll just say I'm 170 pounds because I am 170 pounds. So I change this to 170. What it does automatically, it changes all of the pages body weights to 170. So you can just change it the first page, changes it on all of them. So that's one positive. As you can see here, all my working weights for weighted pull-ups are now negative 170. We can ignore that for now. Um, 
So let's say my body weight's 170 and my maximum uh, pull up with weight added to me is 120 pounds. So I can add 120 pounds to me and I can do a weighted pull up. So if I add my 170 plus my 120, I get 290. Once you add your one rep max here into the weighted pull up with your body weight and the amount weighted, uh, the amount weight of weight added to you as your one rep max, it'll automatically give you how much weight you should add to yourself. So if you put your body weight in there and you calculate your one rep max with your weight and the maximum amount of weight you can add to yourself, it'll automatically calculate exactly how much you add to yourself. So it took a little bit of work to, to, to get there, but it makes life a lot easier. And if you ever wanna like just double check your math, if you're an idiot like me, you take your body weight and if my one rep max is one, uh, 290 and my body weight's 170 and I wanna just make sure that my math is good, the adjusted weight column right here will give you how much weight to add. So if you're just not sure about the math, like if you're a 172 and your best added is 137, you know, where it gets kind of uh, not rounded numbers, it'll give you your exact number here. So it'll work this way through the entire sets, the sheet sets. And hopefully the goal is once you get through this, you can come back to the sets of six and you can change your one rep maxes on all of these. But um, so yeah, it's, it's a fairly simple thing. You just gotta kinda come up with the exercises that you like, which you probably already know. And um, you just have to come up with your one rep maxes and you can kinda calculate from there and just do some work. Now, um, how do you get it? It's pretty simple. Let me go ahead and show you that too. Sorry that this video is already way too long. So if you go to the Hand Control Worldwide site, the very beginning here at the very homepage, you'll see Basic Strength Program. Click on that. Just enter your name. My name is there, conveniently. And enter your email address. Click on Request the Program. And it automatically sends you an email with uh, the Excel file as an attachment. So, Pretty easy. And you can change those percentages and all that stuff if you want. If you like a little higher percentage, uh, if you like a little lower percentage, um, it's up to you. But it's just nice because it's something that automatically calculates all the math for you. And I personally like it because I'm at the gym. I just open my phone up and take a look. Oh, today I have to do, you know, I have to add 45 pounds to me and do my, my weight. I don't have to ever think about it. And once I'm done, I just mark it a different color. So I know I'm done. So that's it, guys. Have fun. Get super strong. And uh, try to make your life a little easier. All right? Have a good one. See you later.